Hello, hello, hello. I hope the music isn't too loud. I lowered it just slightly. But yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. I see a Shrug is reporting for duty. Yo, yo, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. I see a purple chest is also reporting for duty. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you have a lovely day. I hope you've recovered from your, from your illness. <laughs> you exist too now. Yes, you exist too, I see. Yes. <coughs> oh jeez, give me a moment. I'm dying a bit over here. <coughs> but yes, it's not quite, but I'm a bit uh, better a bit. I'll stay home for a week, I think. Understandable. Just a week to recover, that's understandable. But yes, today we are going to do something a bit different. Um, I think, I feel like the music is still a bit too loud. What do you guys think? I know it's a lot louder for me than it is for you, so may maybe it's fine here. I do kind of like being able to hear myself though. But yes. Music's fine, I think. Okay, okay. In that case, let's get started. So, before we go into the, the main the main meat of this, the... the not... Oh, can I like full screen it like this? Yes, I can. Uh, wait, let me just see. How does this work? Um... If I full screen it, the uh, where I have to slightly rearrange it because the us had it zoomed in a bit. I think that's fine. Okay, that's that adjusted. So. Yes, we're going to make a tier list of all the Gen 1 Pokemon. And we and uh, you know, following the occasion, we're just going to listen to the uh, the soundtrack of Fire Red and Leaf Green. You know, the remake. I was I considered putting on the music for like, you know, the originals, but I don't know. That music just doesn't do it for me. It is a bit too old, like um with the what is that? Is that eight bit? It's like I don't know, to, to me it just doesn't sound great, if you know what I mean. I mean, you can definitely hear that it's music, but... A anyway, anyway, let's get going. <laughs> let's start. But you're a streamer. But, but streamer, you're too old. What do you mean I'm too old? I'm not too old. I grew up with Generation 3, not Generation 1. So, it's the games that are too old, not me. But yes, let's start. Let's start. So, first off, Bulbasaur. You know... Very simple. It's a little, a little, a little, green, little uh, blue guy with the big bulb on him. I think he's very cute. Bulbasaur, I think, that's like a solid A. Like, very simple, very cute, just very solid overall. And I don't know if I have anything else to say. This is, of course, all completely subjective, I guess I should also mention. So, after Bulbasaur, we have Ivasaur, which is like... I don't know, it's... Like Bulbasaur, but it looks bigger and angrier. Actually, let me just see. Can I zoom in just a bit? Yeah, let's actually do this. Zoom in a bit, a little bit. So Ivysaur, like Bulbasaur, but bigger and slightly angrier. And it's just like I don't know. I prefer Bulbasaur's like the fact that it's just simpler, more sleek, that it's cute. So I think Ivysaur goes down a tier. And. Then we get to Venusaur, which is like, these are supposed to be like sauce, right? Like the, the dinosaurs or whatever, like di dinosaurs but with plants or whatever. That's what the name would uh, would kind of allude to, right? We also write them from left to right, left being best to set here. Nah, I'm not gonna think about that too much. It's just S, A, B, C, and D. Might create some extra tiers as we go. Like, how do we do that again? Um, yeah, you can just create extra tiers as we need, if we need to. But yeah, Venusaur, it's like, to me, Venusaur looks more like a toad than a dinosaur. And like, I mean, I guess the, the, the fully grown plant on top is pretty cool, but like, I don't know. I feel like Venusaur is just kinda ugly, not gonna lie. And like, it looks more like a toad than a dinosaur. Like, I don't know. At the same time, there is a bit of a coolness factor to it. And it's not too bad, but I think probably the same as Ivysaur, to be honest. To be completely honest, and like Mega Venusaur, or that just it's just Venusaur but bigger. It doesn't really do anything extra. 
I'll just put it the same tier, honestly. So, next, we have Charmander, which is like, Charmander, that's also such a cute little one. You know, may maybe I put too much emphasis on cute, but this is my tier list, and I like cute. And especially, like, like, uh, what's it called? I remember in the anime, like, Ash's Charizard, out the way that they found it, very cute. Why not make an extra tier for Mega since they were not an original? Nah, nah. Because I can, I can still place the Megas on the tier, tier list. So, like, it's, uh, it's fine. Yeah. Charmander, I think. Going to A. Chameleon is like... It's just like um, the awkward middle stage of, like, Charmander and Char Charizard. It's like, also, why is it so much redder? Like, Charmander, Charizard, they're both orange. Why is Chameleon, like, red? Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't really get Chameleon. Honestly, I think Chameleon is, like... I don't know, I'm actually going to dump Chameleon straight down into the seat here. Because this is, like... I don't know, it's like, I would rather have Charmander's design, I would rather have Charizard's design, like, it's just that awkward middle stage. And, like, I think it's even worse than Ivysaur, because Ivysaur at least, like, you know, it looks like a natural middle stage. I mean, I guess Chameleon also kind of does, but it doesn't look quite as awkward. It looks like a more natural middle stage. Charizard, I mean, the way you don't have to, like, explain why Charizard can, like, just go into A. Like, some people might be surprised that I'm not doing S, but, like, I don't know. I don't really have the nostalgia for Charizard, and, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's a dragon, but it's it's a fairly generic dragon, you know? But, like, I don't know. I think Charizard is fine in S. Um. Charizard X, though, that thing's fucking cool. Like, it's a fucking black dragon with, like, blue fire and, like, red eyes. That's A, not S. Yes, it is A, not S. Yes, this is where, like, Charizard, Charizard X is. Because that thing's fucking cool. That thing's fucking cool. You're a generic dragon. <laughs> You're a generic dragon. And also, Charizard Y, it just, it looks very similar to normal Charizard, so, like, it can go next to normal Charizard. So yeah, that's the two first starters. Then we have Squirtle. Squirtle, also a pretty easy A in my opinion. It's pretty pretty cute, pretty cool. <clears throat> like just like some might say it's a bit boring because it's just a it's just like a normal turtle but blue. More like <laughs> Squirtle is easy. Yes. Nah, I, honestly, I am very picky when it comes to like putting stuff into the top tier. So I think Squirtle. In A is fine. We can also maybe adjust a bit later. Like, if I feel like I want to move around based on other stuff. But now, Squirrel goes into A. Water D. Um, let's see, Blastoise. I don't know, I think... Blastoise, where do I want to place Blastoise? It's like... Hmm. It's like... Cool, you know? It's a big turtle, it has these cannons coming out of the shoulders, but at the same time... Cannons are kinda dumb if you really think about it. Like, the way that they come out of his shoulders. It's fucking ad I mean, yeah, Squirtle is fucking adorable. But... But what about- would you also say the Bulbasaur is S tier and Charmander is S tier? I mean... We- we might... We might move the status into S tier. <coughs> once, uh... <coughs> once there's some more competition, some more comparisons. Whereas Blastoise, I think, I think Blastoise is not quite on the same tier as, um, as Squirtle. I think it's just a step down, like, it's pretty cool, it's that dull form, but Squirtle just has some charm to it that Blastoise doesn't have, in my opinion. And Mega Blastoise, like, I, mean, I guess it's kinda cool, it has a big can, but also looks just kinda silly. Like, I don't know, it, I don't think it's a bit silly. I think it, I think it's... Solidly a tear down from normal Blastoise, not gonna lie. Those are the status, and I need to drink some water. <coughs> so, um, Caterpie. Caterpie, Caterpie, Caterpie. Honest, am I placing too much emphasis on the cuteness factor? Maybe I am, but Caterpie... 
Actually, you know what? Yeah, sure. We can uh, we can put these two into S tier. Caterpie goes into A. Okay, okay. We, we do we do that. We do that. We do that. Caterpie is just fucking cute. It goes into A tier. That's like that's just no question said. Like Caterpie is so cute. Like I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm biased because I remember watching the the anime and like the Caterpie that Ash catches. Like it's just it's adorable. Like in the games, it's just kind of annoying and weak. But like Ash's Caterpie in the anime, that thing was just so freaking adorable. If I could get a Caterpie like like in the anime, that would I would fucking take it. Like it's just like like yeah, it's it's a love. It's like a it's a it's a caterpillar, but it's like cute. It makes cute sounds and it's like the size of a cat. It's great in the game. Is it though? Is it? I know. I know. Um, Metapod. Metapod used hard. <laughs> um, Metapod, Metapod. Where do I put Metapod? Honestly, it's. I think. I think it's hard to rate Metapod. Yes, it is. Is it really like rating game? Put an E tier for ranked. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'll do that. I think Metapod. I mean, if we look at it aside from the memes, like aside from the memes, it is a bit boring. Like really, the only thing that holds Metapod up, like at any level, is just the memes. You know, the the Metapod used Harden, just rename it to Penis. Penis used Harden. It's just... <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks terrible, honestly. And it's it's just really boring. It's literally just like a, a pupa, right? I think I should just put it I think we slide all the way down to D. Like on itself, Metapod is just so boring and it's not even it's not even useful in game. It literally just uses Harden. But yeah, I think that is why it plays Metapod. Butterfree. It's like I don't know, I never really was the biggest fan of Butterfree to be honest. Like I don't know. I don't like those uh, like big lifeless eyes and like it's small grubby little hands and feet. Butterfree is AOS. I don't know man. I think Butterfree at most is like it's insanely cool. Not in my opinion. I'm sorry but I think we place Butterfree and B for Butterfree. B for Butterfree. So pretty. I don't know. I don't like it. Powerful, may I guess it is a pretty good other game mod, but I don't really consider much that like the the in-game strength. This is just my opinion on how they like look. So I don't know. I I think Butterfree is a solid B for me. Maybe no, no I don't. No, not all the way in C. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Power affects attractiveness though. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Not really. A Weedle, um, I don't know, Weedle is just like, it's not as cute as Caterpie, I think we can all agree on that, it's not as cute as Caterpie, but at the same time, it's kinda cute, right? Power is attractive after all, I guess it is, which means that uh, Weedle is not very attractive, right? Weedle is, uh, kinda sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just, it's that big nose, like, I don't, I don't know. Ram has a point stronger and mommy more attractive than me, Wendy Grill. True. Read let's be Kunas B, B, Riddles B. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think. I think. Weedle is. In my opinion, Weedle is a C. I think that's why I'll be placing Weedle. I don't know. Maybe I just have Caterpie bias, but. I just don't like Weedle that much. It's never really really uh you know sparked any real emotions in me i've never really cared for weedle be <laughs> true but yeah kakuna i think also goes into honestly actually for pupa i think kakuna is actually pretty cool like somehow even though it's just a pupa it actually manages to look menacing and like actually looks kind of cool so even though it just uses harden it's literally as useless as metapod I actually think it goes all the way into a B, just because I think its design is a lot more solid. Like, it's a lot more um, memorable, it's a lot more menacing, and yeah. Like Weedle Mall and Caterpie. Really? 
Well, that's a hot take if I've ever seen one. I mean, at least to me. And I mean, I think Beedrill, 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 Beedrill. Honestly, you know what? That can go into B for B. You know what? That works. That works. I don't know. I don't think it quite gets its way, but it is a very solid B. I mean, it's a very solid B. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm so funny. It's it's a solid B. Uh, what about Mega Beedrill though? Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill. Honestly, I don't know. I never really felt much from Mega Beedrill. I think it probably just goes into the same TS Beedrill. Like, I guess it's kind of cool and all, but at the same time, I feel like they kind of overdid it. Like, it's literally just spikes all over. Like. Spike, 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 spike. Like, it's it's just a slightly different B, honestly. <clears throat> I think Nigga Beedrill goes into B as well. So, let's see. Pidgey. I don't know, I don't have much to say about Pidgey. Pidgey is pretty boring. It's literally a bird. It's literally just a bird. That's like, I don't know, it, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know, is there anything else to say? Pidgey is, Pidgey is just a bird. I mean, birds are cool and all, but it's just a bird. Now Pidgeotto on the other hand. Pidgeotto is actually pretty cool. I feel like Pidgeotto is all the way up into A for me. Like, I don't know, it's just hard to explain. I just really like Pidgeotto's design. Like, you know, the little air, the little hair thing. And, and uh, like, you know, it just has some... It still looks like an ordinary bird, kind of, but you know, just with a little bit extra. Just with a little bit extra. Um, and <laughs> this is why I also have to like mention like the, the peeve I have with the name, with like Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and then Pidgeot. Like, why did they like shorten the name at the very then end? Honestly, I don't know why. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe again, it's like anime nostalgia bias, because I remember the part that I watched in the anime, like Ash just had a Pidgeotto, but honestly, I always felt like Pidgeot, like, I didn't like how, like, how long the, the hair is. Like, I don't know, to me, to me, like, the shorter hair on Pidgeotto is just my iconic, compared to, like, the really long hair on Pidgeot. I mean, it's still a solid design. I uh, actually never got a picture yet? I don't know. I didn't watch that far into the anime. Like, as a kid, I had like a DVD with, I think it was the fir four first episodes or something like that. And I would like rewatch those a lot. So, I'm an expert on the first four episodes of Pokemon, but uh, not anything that came after that. <laughs> Not anything that came after that. <clears throat> so yeah. I think that's how I'll do Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. <clears throat> oh man. I'm having a hard time speaking today, huh? But, you know what comes after Pidgeot? Mega Pidgeot. Hmm. I don't know. Like... Actually, not sure. I've never really had much of a relationship to Mega Pidgeot. Like, which games was like? Was it just in uh, X Y? Or like, yeah, and like I don't know X Y or was it like in Auras? Or like, never actually used it. I've never really seen it used either. Like, it's just a Pokemon that I've never really seen much. If you know what I mean. So like, it's just it just kind of exists in my mind. But like the design is like. I guess it's cool enough. Like, <clears throat> I feel like Pidgeot actually looks maybe a bit too plain for Last Evolution. Maybe that's my problem. Like, Mega Pidgeot actually looks pretty cool. If I'm not gonna, like, <clears throat> no lie. No lie, Mega Pidgeot is actually kind of cool. And like, it looks like what a Final Evolution should look like. But like, Pidgeot kind of, I just feel like 
it didn't do enough. Like, literally all it did was, uh, like, make its hair longer. Like, that was it. I guess also make the tail completely red instead of being, like, checkered. On all the first Chance Manu is mostly plain, though. I guess some of them do, but if we just look at the list, like... Yeah, I guess some of them look simple, but I feel like with Pidgeot, it's a bit too simple in the fact that, like, it's... Like, the difference between Pidgeotto and Pidgeot isn't really big enough. And the one change they did make, like, I'm not the biggest fan of. So, in my opinion, Pidgeot is just kind of, you know, not as great as Pidgeotto. <sighs> so, let's see. Next we have Rattata. It's gonna go into the R tier for rats. <laughs> I think Rattata is like... You know what? Rattata is cute. But at the same time, I don't know. It is fatter too. It's way preventive from flying high on the tier list. Lost. <laughs> Damn, that's just mean against the fat bird. But yeah, it also took on too much weight, so it couldn't fly as high. That's true. But yeah, Rattata. I think Rattata. I don't know. I think Rattata to me is a B tier. I mean, I'm putting a lot of stuff in the B tier, but at the same time, B, that just, that's just average, so I guess that's where most stuff should be, right? It's like the median or something. I don't know how it works. According to all known last aviation pitcher, it shouldn't be able to fly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's too big. It's too fat. And according to all laws of, uh, of Ratatouille, Radada, the B tier. Like, I don't know, I just don't have much to say about Rat Attack. Yeah, it's okay. It looks, like, it looks, you know, kind of, like, uh, what's it called? It looks very distinct. Rat Attack is A. Is it? I don't know, I think, to me, Rat Attack is just B. If you think Rat Attack is A, that is fine, that is your opinion. But I think, I think Rat Attack is just going to be a B. Like, it's okay, but nothing special, in my opinion. Radicate on the other hand, that's literally just a fat rat. Like, I don't know, does it go all the way down to D or to C? I don't even know. I'm not sure. I feel like why not put on SR? I feel like I've heard this song three times now. I that I'm going mad. You're just going mad. Um, I mean, the problem with SR is I don't actually have it working. That's why I'm not using SR. Like, I would have to do it manually. Which I mean, I guess I could do. Um, but then I would probably also put a point request on. <clears throat> it broke? Um, it's because I'm no longer using the stream elements bot. So that means I also can't use the, uh, the stream elements song request. So I would have to figure out a different way myself. So, I mean, one option is to, um, uh, Discord channel and use Fred bot. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't feel like I should have to be in a, uh, a Discord call. And then, like, it would bother people if I was, like, in a like in a collab, or, like, if I was on somebody else's server for the collab, it wouldn't work. Then again, I guess it wouldn't matter that much for a collab, but still. I think maybe what I'll just do is, like, make a channel pond redeem for SR when, um, when, uh, when it's enabled. Yeah, then I can, like, enable and disable as I want. And then, like... Be then uh, because it costs channel points, people can't spam it as much, and like I get to, uh, you know, not be constantly just DJing. But yeah. Um. Anyway, what was I? Radicate. It's literally just a fat rat. I don't know. I think, I think honestly, I'll slide all the way down to D. I don't like Radicate. It's literally just a fat rat. That like, I don't know, like a stubby fat. Rat. Like, Radata looks like, you know, looks a lot more fantastical and, like, special. Radicate is B or A. So fucking dope. I feel like you're just putting everything into, like, A or S. Or B. You have to be more critical. I'm being very critical here, and I don't like Radicate. So Radicate goes all the way into the D tier. That's spinning Radicate. <laughs> and one more sign says Lee signed. I don't know. <clears throat> Are they really, though? Are they really? I'm not sure. But what I do know is that well, I will rate Spiro once he above Pidgey. I don't, I don't know, I just always felt like Spiro is like, it's a lot more cooler than Pidgey. And 
you know, just more distinct. It has a lot more, like, specialness to it. Whereas Pidgey, that's literally just a bird. Spiro, like, is an angry bird that has a bit more special to it with it, like, its red wings and, like, its big, like, scruffy, uh, scruffy head feathers. <clears throat> Man, my voice is just fucking dying today. And I know Firo. Firo, 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 Firo. Where do I put Firo? Honestly, I feel like Firo can go in the same tier as Biro as in Pidgeot. Hard to say without considering nostalgia goggles, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of them, but I always feel a bit of a boomer when saying the original are better than the new ones because the originals are stable. Yeah, honestly. I feel like maybe I'm more savage on the Gen 1s because, like, it wasn't where I started. I started in Generation 3, so a lot of the, like, Gen 1 ones, I don't really feel a lot for. Also, Jesus Christ, there's still a lot. I need to speed this up. I started Gen 3 as well. Okay, but you're still old. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> um... So... Um... Sure, <laughs> fine. Or just assume things, Lamar. Anyway, let's go. Um, next one, Ekans, or just snake. It's literally just a snake. Literally just a snake. Arbok, literally just a cobra. At the same time, Arbok is actually kind of cool. I think it's like, like Arbok going into B tier. Arbok could go into B, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, let's see. Next we have a Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. Honestly, as much as I want to say Pikachu is overrated and uh, and nah, nah. We all know Pikachu is fucking adorable. Pikachu is the face of the franchise for a reason. And everybody just adores the cute little yellow rat. And I need to drink some water. <clears throat> and I don't know what's up with my voice today. <clears throat> I'm just like constantly having to like um clear my throat and keep, I have to I'll constantly drink water. Screw a fellow piece of goodly called Pikachu. No, you. Honestly, I'll take any I'll take all the flag for putting Pikachu in this here. Even if it's just, you know, being being a fucking normie or whatever. Pikachu is fucking adorable. And then we have Raichu, which is like... Eh. I don't know. I don't like Raichu. Raichu is like just a fat orange Pikachu with a weird tail. I think Raichu can go into the BT as well. So, I guess one could say like... Are we talking about modern Pikachu? Or Fat Pikachu. Those two are not the same, right? But like, I don't know, I think, like, just, no, like, Modern and Old Pikachu are both adorable. Like, they're both cute. They have different charm, but they're both very cute. Both would go into the S tier. So, next we have Sanchru. Honestly, I kinda just like Sanchru because it's kinda cute. Like, the, the big eyes, the stubby little legs, the stubby little arms. Pikachu's... <laughs> okay, okay, rhyme here with the hot takes. But I think next up... Probably F. Okay, whatever, we're, going, we're moving on. Next is Sanshiro. I think Sanshiro is an A. Plus it's just very cute. It's own tier. <laughs> you know what, Show we, we can make... We can make... We can make, um, we can make it, what's it called? A specialty, what do we call it? Uh... Oh, wait, no. This is the one. The one all... The mom's nose. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. 
And I don't know, that's too Mimi, that's too Mimi. That's too Mimi. <clears throat> Let's see, next up we have You tell me not every mom knows it I can't. I am indeed telling you that yes, I don't think my mom knows I can't. Does your mom know I can't? Rhyme, does your mom know I can't? Either way, the next we're next on the list is Sandslash, and honestly, uh, for some reason I just have a soft spot for Sandslash and Sandshrew. I don't even know why. To me, they're just you know the kind of cute Sandslash is also kind of cool with its big claws, with its spiky back, like kind of a uh, yeah, like a combination of like an armadillo and a hedgehog. Because my mom is a huge Pokemon boomer. Oh, nice. But yeah, Sand Slash, Sand Shrew, both A tier, I think that's where I'll put them. Hey Beard, it's been a while, hope you're good. I'm glad to see you streaming, keep up the amazing work, all the best, and say it is Yachi. Okay, thank you very much, Yachi. Thank you for coming by. It's always nice to see you here. Also, I actually know, how much do you know about Pokemon, Yachi? Do you have any strong opinions about Gen 1? Um, also, let's see. Rina and... oh wait, what are these calls? I think it's just Nina Ryan, both of them. Not enough to say much, understandable. Honestly, I don't, I'm not sure why, but for some reason I've always preferred like uh, the um, the purple Nina Ryan, or the like, male Nina Ryan over the female one. I feel like the, um, the, the, the female Nina Ryan is just, I don't know, it's too rounded, it just looks a lot more like a normal rodent. Where, like, the male Nidoran, like, it just looks a lot more fierce and, like, ready to fight. And not as much just, like, rodent. Boring, not even B. This is, re this is really all the way down into C. I think maybe actually. Yeah, actually, it, do it does actually just look. It does just look like a fucking blue rodent, doesn't it? Yeah. Akans is cooler, so is Chameleon. I guess, I guess, yeah, 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 yeah. Nidoran, Nidoran, Blue, that's just... It, it's a C tier, it's just kind of boring. But not as bad as, as the D tier, I think. I mean the Pokemon to represent Berry, that's Mudkip. But Mudkip is not in Generation 1. Mudkip will appear when we get to Generation 3. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell, Rhyme? What did I do? What did I ever do to you? Anyway, um, um, shit. What are these calling? It's Nerina and Nerino, right? Yeah, Nerina. I think Nerina isn't as bad as Nidoran. It's like I think that's a sort of B, but Nidorino, that's like, I don't know. To me, that's actually like fucking S tier. Like Nidorino is just cool. I was gonna say Slackoth. Oh my god, you guys just bullying me. Why are you guys so mean to me today? Like, I don't know. Like, I just really like Nerino. And maybe I'm biased again. M maybe it's my nostalgia. Because I remember it was very prominently featured back in the day. Like, I think, wasn't it like the first, one of the very first shots in the anime? It's like a Gengar versus Nerina, which like mirrors the, um, the opening in the game. Punishment. Okay, understandable. And also, thank you for the hydrate. Anyway, let's start with the squats. Ugh, it's squat time. So. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. How's your posture on the squats? Uh, I think it's alright. I think it's alright. Not perfect, but you know, it's okay. I definitely feel it in the right areas. I'm not just, you know, sitting down. I am leaning back the proper way and really feeling it in, like, in the back of my, uh, in my back of my thighs. Oh yes, I also take an extra hydrate after sitting down. So 
I think I am going to actually make a change to the playlist. Now I just instead of this, maybe we just do like a um a talk. Mm. See something like this, maybe. Okay, so I think instead of having all of these different themes, uh, oh damn, this most of the fucking songs in this list are hidden for some reason. Uh, okay, I think this one works. One hour of Pokemon route music. I think that works. Oh, and Rhyme is finally reporting for tr for uh, for duty, huh? You weren't reporting for duty this entire time, huh? Anyway. Oh, oh, big yawn. Man, I'm tired today. Then again, I don't know, I'm just tired. Like, all the time, I think. Recently. I usually stalk and don't report all. True. True. Slacker, yeah, you gotta report in. Anyway, Nato King, UCS, Nato Queen. I think Nato Queen can go into the A. Nato Queen is in the A. You can tell whether I'm here or not by checking the quest queue. Uh, I never really check the request queue. Actually, is there like an easy way for me to check the request queue from OBS? Uh, oh, there actually is. Over here, match rewards queue. Uh, requests? Right, nothing happens if I click this. Uh, can I do this? I can do that. Why can I not manage reward requests? Is it because there aren't anybody here right now? Is it because there aren't any reward requests that I can't click it? Is that why I can't do it? Wait. I just like... I'd like just do this now. Don't, don't, don't acquit it immediately. Um, no, nothing happens if I click it now. Huh. The manage reward requests button in my OBS is just not working it seems. Which you know I guess that says something that I've never noticed this. Because that's how much I use it. Huh. Yeah. Anyway. Um where were we? Oh yeah, we just did Nidal Queen and Nidal Queen. No wait, did I say Nidal Queen? Nidal King and Nidal Queen. Um, so next up, Clefairy. You know what, Clefairy? I think that can go into the ATL as well. Clefairy's just, you know, it's just, it's kind of iconic, in my opinion, with its metronome. Clefairy with its metronome is kind of iconic. And you know, it's kind of cute as well. It's a, it's a little, this little moon fairy. The Fable, on the other hand, it's just, I don't know, it's just... That's a Clefairy, it's kind of cool. Like, oh, Clefairy is meh, Clefable is kind of cool. In my opinion, it's the other way around. Clefairy is cool, Clefable is just kind of... Ugh. Ugh. It's ice, so yeah, it's ice. And like, I don't know. I just don't like Clefairy. It's just like a big, it's a big, big pink blob. It's just way too much, like, empty texture was like, that isn't being done anything with. Like all of this space, it's just nothing and has these weird wings on the ba back. Like a fairy is a lot more compact, so it feels like there isn't as much wasted space. But that's just that's just my take. The entire Clefairy line freaks me out, TPH, understandable. I think that's like yeah. I just I've just never been a big fan of Clefable. Clefairy is fine, but Clefable that's just that just doesn't do it for me. Next we have Vulpix. Vulpix. It's a cute little fox. And... Fine doesn't sound eight here. I mean, may maybe, like, I'm just sometimes bad at vocalizing my thoughts, you know? And I definitely think Clefairy is on the same tier as Mayo Nidoran, Sanchiru, Pichoto, and like, Caterpie. It's Charmander. That's just... I think Clefairy is on that level. Cute, simple design that works. And you know, I think Vulpix very much falls into that same category. 
It's a cute symbol design that works. <sighs> oh, excuse me, yawning again. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say to Vulpix. It's just cute. And Nine Tails. Hmm. Where do I place Nine Tails? Might place that into A as well for different reasons. I think Nine Tails is brilliant for an Evo, yeah. Like, I'm actually debating does Nine Tails go into A or S? I think it just goes into A. Like, it looks very majestic. That's definitely it, like, it looks very freaking majestic with all, and it's just so fluffy as well, right? Those fluffy tails, I just want to cuddle those fluffy tails. Like, I love the fluff. But, is it an S tier? Honestly, I don't think it's an S tier. It's majestic, it's beautiful, but it's, I think it's just an A. Oh, is it? I think it is. It's not even pretty. What do you mean it's not even pretty? Look at this majestic creature and say it's not pretty. B. Okay, that's we're moving on now. We're moving on now, Ryan. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, that's an easy S tier. Like, honestly, I don't know what to say. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is it's just iconic. It's basically Kirby but Pokemon. And we all we all remember the uh like I channel. Do we all remember Jigglypuff from the anime? <laughs> Radicate is dope, Nantel is whack. Yeah, okay, this is official. Ryan just has shit takes. Oh, yeah, Jigglypuff, ECS tier. ECF tier. Oh, not FT, S tier. ECS tier, not FT. <laughs> what am I even saying? I have factual takes. Um, we'll, we'll agree to disagree on that. We'll agree to disagree on that. Now, on the other hand, Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff is just kind of, I don't know. I think it goes kind of in the same tier as Clefable. It's just... I don't know, man. It's just... Eh. Eh. Compared to Jiggly, Jigglypuff, I just think it's a downgrade. Then we just Jigglypuff, but like, elongated. That's a nice take. Why don't you back it up with a sauce? <laughs> if we pick a true S tier, your opinion means nothing. What's that supposed to mean? Just because, of, because I actually think that the, the Pikachu is cute. But yeah, Wigglytuff, at least we can agree, agree Wigglytuff sucks. Um, not as much as to put in D tier though, I think. I don't think it quite goes into D tier. Actually, hmm, actually, you know what, maybe Clefable goes into D. Wigglytuff gets it, goes to B and C. I do have a bit, I, I, I have, I have a bit more appreciation for Wigglytuff than Clefable. I have a bit more appreciation for Wigglytuff than Clefable. And Clefable actually just freaks me the fuck out. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's just creepy. I don't like Clefable. Clefable is just, ugh. Ugh. Half of one's opinion doesn't matter. Unfortunately, that's indeed how politics works, I guess. Super is A. Super is... Is Super A. Actually, yeah, I think Super is A. I was, I was actually wondering for a moment if I should put it into S, but no, that's maybe a bit too much bias. I love Subrat, but at the same time, I don't love it that much. Like, Crobat is an S tier, Subrat is just an A. Subrat can just go into the A tier. It's fine, it's cute, it's like... I know that a lot of people are annoyed at there being Subats in like every cave, but honestly, I like the fact that there's a Subat in every cave, because that means you can get a Subat in every game. Gobat depends, Chain Rumble, Gobat is S, Chain 3 Gobat Sprite is B. I think, honestly, all Golbats are just B. I think all Golbats are just B. Uh, like, Gen 1 Golbat, I would even say, like, I don't I wouldn't even know where to put Gen 1 Golbat. Like, that thing is, that thing is wacky. With, like, because that's the one where it's, like, all, like, it's, like, ha it stands in a weird pose, and it has its tongue out, and it's, like, ugh. This is the weird one. But, yeah, Golbat, that's, uh, I think it's a sort of B. Like, yeah, it's it's just a solid evolution from Zubat. <laughs> it's fucked. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really do be like that, don't it? So, Oddish. Um... Oddish. Oddish. Think... I would like, make... 
the uh, custom tier here, uh, row below. Artist can get it, get its own tier, that is called. Uh, let's see, can, can I make like a custom color here? There we go. That's where Artish goes. Artish is the Gloom is the Valplum D as well. I don't know, is it really? I think Gloom, Gloom, Gloom. I think Gloom, yeah. Gloom, for me, Gloom, that is definitely a D. I don't like Gloom. I've never liked Gloom. It's always just, for me, Gloom has just been an ill moment. Like, ill. Ill. Just like, you know, it's just fucking drooling all over the place. Fucking stinks and stuff. And yeah, Valplume, I honestly think, I think Valplume is fine. It can go into C. It's just, it's just fine. Like, I don't know, it looks kind of creepy with its, like, sinister smile. But like, I don't know, I've just never liked Valplume that much either. And like, I don't know, it's also... It's also a stone evolution, right? So, like, I've never really had the incentive to really use one. So, I don't know, it's just never really meant much to me. And the design is just kind of meh, like, it's... It's like a weird blue... grey body with, like, just a flower on top of it. It's like Toad. What do you mean Toad? Oh, like Toad in, uh, like, Mario. Yeah, I, I guess I can kind of see that. I guess I can kind of see that. But yeah, Valplume, I don't know. It's it just doesn't do it for me. Paras I think Paras is a I think it's a fine B. Like, I don't know, Paras isn't really cute to me or anything. It's just it's actually kinda creepy if you think about it. Paras is so is cool. <laughs> I guess it's kinda cool, but I don't know, to me it's just kind of middle in the pack. Because like I don't know, it's just a bit creepy, the fa like how it works. That Paras, like, it's like a bug that's been like basically being taken over by a fungus, right? I love its design. A, mm, that's, I think it's I think it's just a solid B for me. But I can definitely see where it's coming from. Like as a kid, I was def I, I liked it a bit more because I didn't really understand what was going on. But I think Paras. I think I'll leave it, in, leave it in the B tier. And yeah, Parasect, I think that goes into C. I don't know, I always did prefer Paras over Parasect. So yeah, Parasect, I don't know, it's just... It's just a big mushroom with like, insect legs and like... Claws. I was looking, why why to put Oddish in the Pi Minus tier? Uh, that's not my Pi Minus, it's just blank face tier. I mean, if we just... Can you, can you not see its face? Like, it is basically like, you know, that emote. That's why I decided to give Oddish his own little tear for that. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do that. <laughs> yes. Oddish. Um, so, Venonat. You know, this, I do, I remember that, um, theory. That Venonat was actually supposed to evolve into Butterfree. And Metapod was supposed to... They, like, evolve into Venomoth, and I was like, I can definitely see, but, like, Metapod looks a lot more similar to Venonat than, or Venomoth, than it looks to Butterfree, right? Like, Venonat looks a lot closer to Butterfree than to Venomoth. Venomoth is cool, Venonat isn't, yeah. Like, I don't know, Venon, I, at the same time, Venom, Venonat is kinda cute. I think Venonat goes, like, in the same tier as Butterfree, just because they're so similar. Like, I think Butterfree and Venonat, they're basically equal in my mind. So, I think it goes in the same tier. Yeah, Venomoth, I actually always liked Venomoth. But the wings, what about the wings? Like, Butterfree is literally just Venonat with wings. Don't they have a Digimon like, Digimon like Venonath? No idea. No idea. But yeah, Venomoth... I think... Do I put it into... Honestly, I always thought Venomoth was kind of cool. I just never really had the opportunity to use one. Like, I don't know. I just don't ever actually remember using a Venomoth. I always thought it was kind of cool. Venomoth over Butterfree? Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. I know that might be uh, a hot take. 
But to me, I like Venomoth more than I like Butterfree, in uh, like design wise. I think they're equal, understandable, understandable. To me though, I definitely prefer Venomoth. Both A, nah, nah. Venomoth gets the W here. Diglett. <laughs> I don't know about Diglett. It's like. It's. Basically, just a sausage coming out of the ground. Yeah, I don't know. I think Diglett. Like, it's literally just a sausage that comes out of the ground. And, like, the internet has forever ruined Diglett for me, if you know what I mean. So. Yeah, I don't know. I think Diglett goes into D for Diglett. And Dark Trio is literally just three Diglets. These are are better than one. I guess. <laughs> I guess. But at the same time, it's literally just three times not even a design. So, you know. So, how many do we have to left? Oh my god, we still have so many left. I mean, I guess there are 151. Aside from those memes, Mr. Diglets' legs was always fun. I don't know. Is it fun though? Oh yeah, that, that just reminds me. Can't take that learn like a low kick or something like that. What am I misremembering? Oh, like it can definitely learn like moves that would imply it has like hands or legs. I seem to remember that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't like Diglett. Diglett has never really meant anything to me. So I think I think the DT is fine for them. Now, now, Meowth. Honestly, I think I'm probably biased towards Meowth because of Team Rocket's Meowth. <clears throat> Meowth, that's right! Meowth is meh? I don't know. <clears throat> I think Rocket makes it low key worse. <clears throat> Oh wait, really? Wait, really? You say Rocket's Meowth makes it worse? Honestly, I think if it wasn't for Rocket's Meowth, like, I would, like, Meowth would just be forgettable for me. Like, to me, Meowth will always just be iconic. Whereas, like, I don't know, Persian, this is kind of, this is kind of a generic cat. So I think Persian just goes in like the B. I think Persian goes into B while Meowth goes into the A. For me. I hate his character. Uh, I mean, I don't actually remember the character too much. I just remember that it's there. Which maybe isn't the, isn't like the best thing to say about a character. I just remember that it's there. But that's just how it goes. Oh man, I'm tired today. I don't, I don't know if we ever going to, if we even get. Well, I can't even speak. I don't know if we're even getting to the nurse lock today, or if we're just doing this tier list. Because man, I don't know why I'm just so tired right now. Mm. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Psyduck. Uh, I've never really liked Psyduck. But at the same time, I don't think it quite goes into the D tier. I think Psyduck is just like a C tier. Speedrun the tier list is safe for another day. No, no, no. I can finish the tier list. I'm saying that we might just not be doing the last look afterwards. Psy whack. Wow, <laughs> wow. But yeah, Psyduck. I don't know. I don't really have anything. It's, it's just a yellow dog that has headaches. So I think that just goes into C. Just C. Just C. No. Golduck. Golduck. What do we do with Golduck? Think into the sea. <laughs> into the sea. Actually, I think, I think Golduck goes into B tier. I think Golduck is just fine. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's also kind of meh. Like, I don't know. It's just, to me, Golduck is just kind of middle of the road. Like, it's an improvement over Psyduck for me, at least. But it's also just, I don't know. It just kind of exists in in the middle of the pack, if it makes any sense. I 
So yeah, I think that's where Golda goes. Oh, and also guys, did you notice that I, uh, I made like a custom icon for the channel points? How do you like your new Demon Crowns logo? I hope you like it. I, I, I spend time on it. <laughs> but yeah, um, next up we have a Mankey and Primeave. Looks a little odd. Can't exactly, can't tell what exactly is on it. Can't see the details. I mean, it's just supposed to be a coin. Or like, it's a, it's a demon crown, you know? It's demon crowns, so it's like a demon coin. Brown circle. I mean, it's like a copper coin or something. I don't know. Needs a little more work, really. I think it. I think it looks pretty good. Spent time on a brown circle with some details on it. Like I know a lot of the detail is lost because it's a lot. It's like shrunk down a little, or a lot. But still, can't see them. I think that's a skill issue. That's just what we call a skill issue. Can show the unshrunken image? I guess I can. Uh, the sh unshrunken image. Let me see. Unshrunken image. I think your artwork has a skill issue. No, I think it's just you who has a skill issue. Um, let's see. Let's switch over to display capture. Let's see, here, here is unshrunken. Isn't that like an okay coin? I think that's an okay coin. And honestly, I think. I th I, is it is it just because I know what it's supposed to be that it looks better for me on the this shrunken down? Like to me, it actually looks better shrunken down than it does like in the full size. I guess is it too small on Twitch? I don't know. Is it really? To like maybe it's just because I know what it's supposed to look like, but for me, it actually looks really good. And again, I guess I should take the feedback into consideration. Then again, like. Not supposed to be like something big and eye catching. It's literally just like an icon for the demon crowns. Anyway, why did we get to? Oh yeah, Prime Ape and Mankey. Oh, Mankey and Prime Ape. I think. Honestly, I never really liked Mankey. Being completely honest, I never really liked Mankey. Same with Prime Ape. It's literally just an angry Mankey. I think if you make the emblem bigger and cut off parts of the wings, you can really show off the shield part until it's supposed to be a combo shield, maybe. Yeah, Mankey is just kind of ugly. I wouldn't quite put it all the way down in D though, but I think both Mankey and Primate, they can rest solidly in the C tier. I think, I think, like, I don't think we need to elaborate much more on that. Mankey and Primate, just kind of meh. That's kind of meh. So. I think next, Growlithe, I think Growlithe likes like, honestly Growlithe and Arcanine, they can go into the A tier both. Oh actually, do we put Arcanine all the way up in the S tier? Do we put Arcanine all the way up in the S tier? I'm not actually sure. Honestly, honestly, I would, I didn't, as a kid, I didn't really get the high for Arcanine myself. And I mean, I can definitely appreciate it now, but... I don't really think it's quite S tier material for me. For me, it's not quite S tier material. Your S tier material to me. Ah, thank you. I know I'm S tier. Oh, actually, no. I'm not even. I'm not just S tier. I'm E X tier. If you can appreciate it now, then put an S, you're not from 5 years ago when you were 12. I mean, <laughs> 5 years ago I wasn't 12. I'm not that young, jeez. Old man. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe A, I don't know. I don't know. I th honestly, I think Arcanine, it's fine in just A tier. I think Arcanine is fine in A. 
then again, is it honestly no? It it might just be above some of the other Pokemon in A. So yeah, okay. If I look at the other Pokemon in A, yeah, then okay, I can I can go into S. If you know, if I actually compare it to the other Pokemon I've put into the tier. So yeah, I can I go into the S. Oh boy, that's still a lot left. So next up we have Poliwhirl. Wait, no, this is Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath. So, like, Poliwag. I think Poliwag is like... Honestly, to me, Poliwag is like... Why do I put Poliwag? You know, I think I'll actually put an A, which, you know, that's probably very biased. But I've always been a really big fan of tadpoles. Like, I've always just found them really cute. So, like, I like its design. I like its concept. I think it's cute. Even if its mouth is a bit weird. Like, it's weird that it has a little mouth when, like, it that just disappeared on Polywell and Polarath. Oh, like, look, it doesn't have bones. Would explode if you throw it. Freaks me out. What do you mean it looks like it doesn't have bones and would explode? Wait. Why, like, why would you even throw it at a wall to begin with? I don't get why you would throw it at a wall to begin to begin with. But yeah, like, like, I like I like Polywag. That's just like I know that's that's very much personal bias. But like Poliwhirl and Poliwrath is like Poliwhirl can go into like C. It's just like, like again, I can kind of see the frog influence, but like I don't know. It's just. I don't know, I don't like it. Um, it looks like it doesn't belong in that part of the world, yeah, like, it just, I don't know. It just looks like, you know, a watered down part of wrath. It looks like it should, it looks like it's not the right middle stage. Test Pokemon through the wall, Glacier and survive, so you become an instant fave. Ice type would, yeah, an ice type would be the last to survive being thrown at a wall. Like, it fucking shatters if you throw an ice type at a wall. Even if it's supposed to be like an ice type mammal, which would just like squeak if you threw it at a wall. But yeah, Holy Wrath, I think, just goes into B. Like, it's alright, but honestly, I don't think it's like, I don't know. I think it's just fine. It's just fine. Definitely better than Polyworld, but also I still prefer Polywag. So I think Holy Wrath just goes into the B tier. Like, it's cool, it's fine, but is it really A tier cool? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not in my opinion. And my opinion is the one that really matters here, you know? So, next we go to Abra. Abra, Abra, Abra. Honestly, I think Abra. Where does Abra go? Does it go into the A tier for cuteness? I think Abra goes into the A tier for cuteness. Like, I don't know why, I just always, I just always really liked Abra. Like, something about, like, it's somewhat simple, sleek design, like the yellow colors. Loath Abra because I was teleported away D tier. Well, that's just your personal bias. My personal bias puts Abra in A tier. A fire bra, haha. <laughs> now, Kadabra, 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 Kadabra. Kadabra is actually a bit complicated for me because Kadabra used to be my favorite Pokemon. Like, I remember back on Pokemon Emerald, um, I didn't realize you evolved it by trading it. So I had my Kadabra on Pokemon Emerald. That I would just keep leveling up because in my mind, if I just kept leveling it up, eventually it would reach a level where it would evolve. So eventually it reached level 100, and I was like, well, I guess it doesn't evolve like this. <laughs> I think Kadabra and Kazam look too similar, yeah. Like, I don't know, I think Kadabra. <clears throat> it used to be my favorite, but like looking back at it, like 
objectively, I think it honestly probably just goes into B tier. Alakazam, however, Alakazam I think is pretty cool. I think Alakazam can actually go into the A tier. Oh yeah, I guess you, I guess you could think that they lose to the similar, but like I don't know. I guess Kadabra kind of just looks like an awkward middle stage. Like these red markings, where do they go? Also, like why does the tail like become bigger and then shrink into nothing? Like I don't know. It, it's just kind of an awkward middle stage. But like Sam, that's that's pretty cool. Make out like a Sam though, that's like, I don't even, I don't even know, what the fuck, like, it's like, just shriveled up completely, like, for some reason it has, like, hands for, for feet, and, like, it became, like, Santa, like, I don't, I don't like that, I don't like the design at all. Spoon up, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I guess that's one way to describe it, spoon up, <laughs> yeah, I never liked it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's noble. Mm-hmm. Ah. Kadabra is definitely cooler. Wait, what do you mean Kadabra is cooler? I mean, it's definitely cooler than Mega Alakazam, but are you saying Kadabra is cooler than Alakazam? I don't know. To me, like... I don't know. Cooler than Alakazam, yes. Hmm, I don't know. Like I said, to me it feels like an awkward middle stage. Like, which maybe that's because of Alakazam, like, instead of, like, going, uh, going onwards. Like, instead of building on the design that, like, went from Africa to Alakazam, it, like, just kind of went somewhere else. But I don't know. Yeah, I think Alakazam feels a lot sharper and simpler, yeah. That's, like, kind of my psych as well. It just feels a lot more sharp and sleek in his design. Whereas Kadabra is like, kind of messy. But yeah, um, next up we have Matchup. And like, I don't know, Matchup, I feel like... Matchup and Macham. Oh, Machoke, they're like, they're basically just like, a boy and a buff dude. Like, it's not bad the science per se, but they're also not really like, eye-catching or anything. So they're like... That's just kind of fair. Machoke is honestly dope, I don't know, I think... Machoke and Machoke are kind of just, you know... <laughs> Machoke and these nuts. God damn it. Anyway, I think they're just kind of meh, meh. My champ, on the other hand, like, I can definitely put that into B tier. Like, because it actually has something, like, more to it. It has, like, four arms, which is something more monster-y. Whereas, like, match up and match oak, they just, they just look too human. Which, you know, it also... With like both Machoke and Macham, it like it just looks weird that they both like wear these like what are these called like like uh, like trunks, pants, whatever. Like they have on they wear underwear basically. Which is like it would be better if they didn't actually wear any underwear in my opinion. Because because they're wearing the underwear, you kind of have the mental image that they can take it off, you know? And you know what they would have underneath that. But, you know, that's a discussion for another time. To try to become my champ. I don't get the joke there. But yeah. Um, Bellsprout. I don't know. Bellsprout. I think that's another just, like, C for me. Same with Weeping Bell. I think they're just kind of there. As, like, stepping stones. You've never heard of Death Trap Become Human? I have. But what does my champ have with that have to do with that? Is it because that's too it's too close to being human or what do you mean? You said they look okay, yeah, okay. I guess. I guess, I guess. Uh 
Ah, uh, anyway, um, as I was saying, I feel like Bell's Proud and Weaving Bell are just like stepping stones on the way to Victory Bell, which is actually like, I actually kind of like Victory Bell. I think I'll actually put Victory Bell all the way up in A. Like, I don't even know why I like Victory Bell that much. I just, something about it, I just really like, you know? So, to me, that's an ATR. Yeah? And next, we have, I'd love to have my champ to rail me against the wall, okay? Okay. Okay, Rhyme, I see how it is. Anyway, um, moving on. Have Tentacool. That's a cool. Now that's <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I should really think about what I read from chat, right? I shouldn't just read out everything the chat says. Anyway, Tentacool is like Tentacool is kinda cool, I'm not gonna lie. Cool enough to be into B. Tentacool on the other hand, like Honestly, I think Tentacool can go all the way into S. Like, I don't even know why. I just really fucking like Tentacruel. It's just a really solid Pokemon that I kind of want to have on my team always. Like, I don't know, it's, 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 like, Tentacruel is just... No, wait, what are you saying? Is it just because it has tentacles? That's no, it's in Tentacruel. I mean, yeah, Tentacruel is actually an S to, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about, Pawpaw? This is Tentacruel, not Tentacruel. It's a cruel. Get your facts straight. Get your facts straight. Still no isn't that. I mean, okay, fair enough. But so what? Should I actually put um nine tails into like um into like freaking ends here? Yeah? For for nutted on. Wait, what? Actually, no, let's just move on, let's move on, let's move on. Um, Geodude. Geodude, uh, I don't know, it's just a rock. And Geodude, literally just a stone. Same with Graveloth, literally just a bigger stone with arms. Literally just rocks with arms. But like, I don't know. I don't know, that's just kind of meh. That's kind of meh. Which is like, I don't know. I, th I think, yeah, Geodude and Gravel, I think they can just be in C. But Golem, I actually kind of like Golem's design. Like, even though Golem, like, in-game is kind of trash, like, this design, I've always just been a really big fan of Golem's design. But, I guess the weird thing about Golem is, it doesn't really look like it fits in with Gravel and Geodude. Because it looks like a reptile inside a stone. Whereas these two are literally just stones, right? So it kind of looks like it doesn't fit in, but it's still a really good design, in my opinion. So, Golem A. Golem is S, agreed. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's a S. It's, it's good enough to be an A, I wouldn't put it into S. Not quite into S, not quite S tier material for me. Ponyta. Literally just a pony. Literally just a horse that's in fire. What stops him from being S? Elaborate in great detail. Um, what stops it from being S is my opinion. Um, so yeah, Ponyta, literally just a, just a horse that's in fire. I don't know. It's kind of just really boring. Like, Rapid Dash. Um, that was indeed a great detail. Yeah, thank you. Like, Rapidash is at least a unicorn, so I can go slightly up, but like, Ponyta is just, like, eh. Was it really needed? Why couldn't you just make Rapidash, like, it could have just been, like, a singular, like, a thing, like, a singular Pokemon by itself without an evolution. Rapidash kind of whack. I hate the skin color. Uh, I, I guess I can kind of see that the skin color isn't the most exciting, but at the same time, it's a, f it's a flaming unicorn. So I'll give it a pass for that, even if it looks kind of generic. Like, it's definitely better than Ponyta. They barely had any single Evos in Gen 1 though. 
Didn't they? Uh, what did they have? They had far fetched, uh, like here, and see what else. The Hitman Lee and Hitman Chan, Licky Tongue, Mr. Mime, Scyther, King Selectabus, Chansey Tangela, uh, Kangaskhan, Taurus, Pinsir, Magmar, Lapras Ditto, Nolax, Aerodactyl, Oregon. They actually had quite a few single, like, on, uh, like, um, yeah. Got that as some of the Evos later. I'll take that on that one, yeah. Like a lot of, like quite a few Pokemon actually didn't have any Evos in Generation 1. But yeah, um, that was, that was, that was those. Actually, maybe Ponyta can even go all the way out to D, because honestly, Ponyta is just that boring. Um... Slowpoke. Honestly, Slowpoke is a simple design, but it's not boring or anything. It's just nice and dopey. I think Slowpoke can go into B tier. Just nice and dopey little Slowpoke. Slowpoke is A. I mean, I can definitely see the argument for A, but to me, it's just. I don't like slow slow poke that much that it's like an A tier worthy. Like just middle of the pack B. Slow bro is plus. Um not to me. To me slow bro is just the same as slow poke. It's just a B. I can respect your opinions. Where would you where would you put Slowking? Yeah, where would you put Slowking? Slowking is below Slowpoke. Understandable. Honestly, I just feel like Slowking was unnecessary. Like, how does a Slowpoke even evolve into Slowking? Like, I don't know. To me, Slowking just felt like an unnecessary side grade. I never saw the point in it. Now, Mega Slow Bro. I don't know, I don't like Mega Slow Bro. I think it goes like a tier below Slow Bro. Or slow bro. Still, I like Slow King. It feels majestic and smart. Eh, maybe. I don't even know. What does Slow King even do? What even is its role? Like, I know that Slow Bro is like a tank. Like, I'm guessing Slow King is also a tank because what else would a slow line do? It's stupid. It's stupid, huh? That's, that's, that's slightly, that's kind of rude, isn't it, to say a slow king is stupid. It is, though. Is it, bro? Canonically. Wait, is it stupid canonically, huh? I did not know that detail. But I do know that as much as people give Magnemite flack for just being, like, like, honestly, this is probably just my own, like, bias. I I really like Magnemite, and a lot of people give Magneton flag for just being three Magnemites, but I still really like it. Like, I just really like Magneton. Uh, movie 2. Oh yeah, I think Movie 2 had, like, a really smart Slow King. Didn't it have, like a, like, a talking Slow King or something? I definitely remember from one Pokemon movie that there was a talking Slow King. But yeah, Magnemite is cool and Magneton as well. They're just both pretty cool, in my opinion. Ah, uh, this is the sound of this is the sound of home. The sound of my childhood. Anyway, uh, let's not get be too distracted by the music. Um, next we have Farfetch'd, literally just a dog with a leak. I've never really seen the point of Farfetch'd, let's move on. Um, Doduo, like... I, know, I think Doduo is like a C tier. Doduo can get into like the B though. C and D. C and B. It's not very cool. Farfetch'd, yeah, I think... 
like saying that it's a good Pokemon is a bit that's that's a bit far fetched. Ha ha! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, Dodrio is nice. Dodrio is just kind of you know, it's just kind of there. It's just kind of there. And Seal, I don't know. Seal is literally just a Seal. Dugong, that's literally yeah. Those two, they're just boring, forgettable. Moving on. Um, Grimer. I honestly really like Grimer. Same with uh with Muck. Just um, you know, just don't uh, say its name reverse. Seal is kind of cute. I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like Seal is so forgettable and generic. It's literally just a Seal. And like Dugong is just like kind of the same. I just don't. I've never liked those two. This is really forgettable. But yeah, Mug is cool. Actually, is Mug even so cool that I'll put into? I think Mug might actually be cool enough to put into A. I always actually really liked Mug. I've just never actually ever used one in a playthrough. I think it's just I've never really you know had a place in a playthrough where like had to use one. Or like where it was convenient to use one. So I always wanted to use a mug, but like it's just I've never really found a good place or like reason to. Like the sign is cool, but I guess that's just you know when I've been playing, there have just been better Pokemon to use. So yeah, Shelda, <laughs> like Shelda. I don't know. I've never really been a big fan of Shelda. Like, I think Shella can just go into, like, C. Literally just a clam with a big tongue. And I guess it's kinda cute, but to me, it's not... To me, it's not cute enough to, like, go higher. Like, I just don't like... I just don't like it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like Shelda. Klystar, on the other hand. Like, Klystar is fucking cool. Klystar is, like, you know... It's just... Mwah. A chef's kiss, like Cloyster, like I've always, you know, liked those uh, those fancy clams, and you know, it's just like, the like its facial expression, like the horn, you know, the fact that uh, just like it because <laughs> no, no, I just I le I legit just think that Cloyster's really cool. I legit just think Cloyster's really cool. Like, I just, I just really, I just really like the classy. Anyway, next up is Ghastly. Ghastly, think Ghastly, that's a pretty solid B. Same with Haunter. Gengar though, Gengar, that's another S tier. Gengar, it's iconic. Good man, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's, it's just iconic. Um, and Mega Gengar, I don't know about Mega Gengar, I think Mega Gengar is not quite as good, they can go down to the A tier. Like, Mega Gengar is cool, but I don't know, I think like it's kind of overdoing it a little bit. Which is why I don't put it higher. So wait, let me just... It should be in this order, because... We started with... Actually, wait, did we... No, we started with... Actually, we started with Balbo... Then... Yeah, I think that was the order, right? Yeah. Uh, don't disagree, just that Honda is A, if not S. Honda... I don't know, to me, Honda is just... I don't know. I don't know. I can definitely see where you're coming from, but Haunter is just, I don't know, I don't like it that much. It's literally the coolest ghost. Is it? Honestly, honestly, yeah, like, I think it's just this sprite that I don't like that much, but Haunter, actually, in general, yeah, Haunter is pretty cool. I will actually give it that. It's just this one sprite that I don't like that much, but generally speaking, Haunter is pretty cool, yeah.
Now, Onyx. Oh yeah, Onyx also doesn't have an evolution in this gen. Honestly, I think Onyx is really cool. It's just a shame that it's such a shit Pokemon. Like, it's literally a snake made of solid rocks. It's literally a solid snake. Onyx is cool, but not A. Um, let's agree to disagree. I really like Onyx. I really like Onyx. I always wish that Onyx was stronger. Onyx doesn't feel B. Yeah, exactly. Like, I can, I can kind of see why you maybe don't think it's the same as some of the A tiers, but I, at the same time, I feel it's better than them, um, than the Bs. I feel C. No, Rhyme. Rhyme, this is why we say you have shit takes. Onyx is definitely not a C. <clears throat> anyway, I think next. <clears throat> uh, aside to now, why is Baby Doodle in C? Um, because I don't just don't I just don't like it that much. Like Dodrio is a B, Dodrio is in C. <laughs> because Spirit doesn't have taste. <laughs> That's rich coming from you. Hmm. Probably Corona. <laughs> you know, I never actually had Corona, at least not officially. I never tested positive for it, but I did, did at some point, like, uh, this Christmas. I, think, I don't know if you all remember me talking about how, like, I got, like, sick and, like, my throat was fucked up for, like, a month or so. So, like, I don't know, I don't know if that was the Rona or not. Can't test positive, you know, so, I mean, honestly, at this point, people just don't test for Corona anymore. Like, at this point, if you get it, yeah, okay, you just got it, but, like, nobody's actually really, past, like, actively testing for it. At least, not that I know of. Like, in Denmark, it's basically just, like, things are back to new- back as they were. Everything's back as usual. But, yeah, um, Drowsy and Hypno, I don't know, those are, like, I never liked Drowsy and Hypno. To me, those are DTS. Like, actually, maybe Drowsy can go into like C, because it's kind of cool that it's like it's a peer, you know. And you Dutch, no. But like, it's a peer idea. It's pretty cool. But like, Hy Hypno is just like it's just no. Hypno's kind of nice, but it knows fucks it. Yeah, like it's literally just a fucking big nose, like. Hypnotist. And you know, the internet as well. The internet has ruined Hypno for me as well. Like, the internet has just ruined Hypno. Like, you know what I mean. So... <laughs> uh, anyway, um... Krabby. Honestly, Krabby, Krabby is fine. Krabby is fine. That's like a solid B. Same with Kingler, those can both go into B. They're fine. They're just fine. They're just fine. Crabby A King Glass. No, I don't think so. Like, honestly, I feel like I'm being generous enough to Crabby for putting into B because it's literally just a fucking crab. And like Kingler, I I could see the argument for putting in a tier higher, but like, I don't know. This is kinda cool, but at the same time, I just don't feel like putting it in the A. I don't think Kingla is cool enough for a. It's a cool crab though. Crab. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Actually, wait. Um, let's uh, let's just quickly put it on. Why don't we? In Crab's defense, don't think later Gen months do Crab months better. Um, probably not. Crawdant is S plus. Wait, Crawdant, that's um, that's Crawfish Evolution, right? Yeah, Crawfish is actually pretty cool. Just... <laughs> it was just too bad it was kind of dark shit in, like, Generation 3 because there was, like, a physical Waterman with, like, water attacks that went physical. But yeah, um... 
I think King Gun Crappy, they just go into B. Lobster the right, or what? Like, I think a uh, Crawdon, that's supposed to be a, a Crawfish. Yeah, craw Crawdon is a Crawfish. Wait, what is Crawfish? Like, is that also like a Crawfish? I think that's also a Crawfish. Like, Crawfish, Crawfish, yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. Anyway, Voltorb. Um, I think Voltorb goes into C and Electrode goes into D. I've never really liked Electrode. I spent two hundred on this. I use it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just, just keep spamming that Biriri. You just, you just keep doing that. I need to get myself a dance. Like a dance emote or something. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, just just spam those emotes, do I don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> um, yeah, Vault Top C, Electro D. Don't think that's much controversy about that. Uh oh, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of emotes. <laughs> I think. Why do I put? Wait, what are these even called again? I am blanking so hard on what this is called right now. Oh yeah, e uh, execute. That's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, execute, execute. And evol evolution is executor. Yeah, execute and executor. That's what it is. So yeah, execute. Um, execute. Oh, is it execute? I think it goes into. Hmm. Honestly, I never liked it much. I think it goes into D as well. I guess literally just it's literally just a bunch of eggs. Literally just a bunch of eggs. So. I think that's where we're leaving, uh, leaving it. Executor though, like, I never liked that too much either. I think we can put that into the C. It's half a dozen X though. Yeah, but that doesn't make it any better. It's literally just a couple of X. Literally just some X. And Executor is just, I don't know, I never really liked that. It's like a palm tree, but with weird faces for coconuts. So it's like, eh. I don't like it. Berry rave. Mm, you know, you know, I should maybe look into an emote for something like that. I think half dozen S would be on par with Spoon Hobo. I mean, Spoon Hobo will just eat them all. Spoon Hobo just eats them all at the same time. Um, anyway, next up is Cubone. Cubone, I think, is honestly an A tier. With his spoons, yeah, yeah. Spoon Hobo would just eat the, eat the eggs with his spoons. That's, uh, that's how it works. Have you never eaten, like, a softball egg with a spoon? Just like soft boil them and then like scoop them out of there. Like just a slurp. And then the slurp. slurp. <laughs> well, yeah, but those were washed and not a half <laughs> You mean the spoons? I mean, those spoons look pretty clean. Anyway, Marowak. I think, honestly, Marowak is a downgrade from Cubone. Like, Cubone. It's, you know, it's cute, it's tragic, Marowak is just, I don't know, it's like the coolified Cubone, but I'm not a big fan of it. Anyway, moving on, moving on, we need to keep moving. Hitman Lee, um, A, Hitman Chan, B, Lickitung, C, um, okay, any, any, any disagreements over those, any disagreement over those placements?
Feel free to add them. Like, I don't know, I just always felt like Hitmonlee was cooler than Hitmonchan. Oh, you got objections. Naga is S. Wait, what is Naga? Wait, what the, what the hell is Naga? <laughs> Naga these nuts. God damn it. We're moving on, we're moving on. Uh, coughing. Coughing goes into B. So does we thing. This is, that's just okay, that's just going to be, you know, they're iconic, but like, they're just kind of... The bone guy. The bone guy. <laughs> you mean, um... I mean, uh, Marowak, or do you mean Cubone? Cubone or Marowak? I'm confused. Why, why are you calling it Naga? Japanese name? Oh, is it the Japanese name? I wouldn't know. I am a I'm a filthy West Westabu who doesn't know Japanese. German name. Oh, the German name. Yeah, I would definitely not know the German names. Anyway, Raihon, Raihon is yes. Like Raihon, like honestly, Raihon is just so cool. Like this is no explanation needed. Like Raihon, cool. Raihorn, eh. Oh, Raidon. Like, Raihorn, Raidon. Raidon is just not as cool as Raihorn, in my opinion. Like, it just looks, like, really like the jaggedness of Raihorn. And, like, Raidon just looks a lot smoother, which, like, downgrades it for me. Raidon, these not. Uh, wait. What's with the. Why are you saying Ara Ara? Oh, whoa. Wait, what's the what's the ara ara for there? I just said that right horn is S and right on is A. What what's ara ara about that? It's got a mental deficiency. You know what? True, 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 true. Uh, what do we have next? Chancy, Chancy, Chancy. Honestly, Chancy is I would say Chancy is kind of iconic. Like, just. That damn smile. That that haunting look. Like Chansey's face is just like it's just fucking haunting. Like the the blank smile, like the bl the blank eyes with like the, the the stock smile, it's just It's scary. It's scary, but at the same time it's also just iconic. So I think Chansey goes into the A tier. What do we have next? Tantula? I don't know, I never really cared for Tantula to be honest. I think Tantula just goes into the C tier. I just never, ta I just never really cared for it, like at all. And what do we have then? We have Kangaskhan. Honestly, Kangaskhan. I think that's just kind of middle of the road. Like. Honestly, before Mega Kangaskhan, I never even knew that Kangaskhan was like really, like, I don't know, I just never really paid attention to it. Like, nobody cared about it until I put on the, until I put on the stone. Basically, was what I'm saying. But yeah, Kangaskhan just kind of middle of the pack. And like, Mega Kangaskhan, it's literally just Kangaskhan, but with like, the, like, the, um, the kid is out of the, out of the, uh, out of the, what's it called? The, the carry? The pouch, the pouch, the pouch, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Honestly, I think those just go into the B. Um, Horsey. Horsey's cute. Horsey can go into the A tier. Zidra, I don't know, it's just kind of meh. Middle. Like, it's kind of cool, but I don't know. It's just... Uh, Yeah, I actually know. I think it's cool enough. It can actually. I think Cedra can actually go into the A tier. Now I think about it. Yeah, Cedra, welcome to the A tier. You're actually cool enough. You're cool enough. And then Goldeen. It's literally just a goldfish. C 
Sea King, it's literally just a goldfish. I never really cared much for those two, to be honest. If you did, then I just wonder why. Oh, it looks like the music ran out. Let's see. Two hours of peaceful Pokemon music. Sounds great. Let's put that on. Uh, let's see. Next we have Stami and Ostario and Stami. Which go into the A tier and into the A tier. Do I even need to explain myself? Like they're just very cool starfish. Like the like think don't they have like semi alien like law in Pokemon or something? They're just pretty cool. I just think they're neat. Anyway, next up we have Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, you can go into the tier. Like I don't dislike Mr. Mime as like for enough to be a D tier, but it's like I don't know. It's I also never really liked, liked, Mr. Mime, Mr. Meme, yeah, Mr. Meme, Starry over Stami. Mm, I don't know. To me, they're kind of interchangeable, to be honest. But I can, I, th I can definitely see where you come from. Yeah. Anyway, next up we have Scyther. Scyther, honestly, Scyther is pretty cool. I think we can put Scyther into the A tier. Like, it's just... Like, I don't know, it's kind of... Like, I don't know. Kangaskhan, by the way, is S tier. Mm, not really, no. Not really, not in my opinion. I think B tier is... Just fine for Kangaskhan. Jinx. You go in the same tier as uh, Mr. Mime. Now, Electroboss. I actually think Electroboss is a really cool Pokemon. We put it all the way into S though. Honestly, you know what? I've always thought Electroboss is really cool. Electroboss goes into the S tier. Jinx is the ugly bitch. Honestly. I can definitely see why you would think that, but I don't know. I think I don't have as bad feelings about Jinx as the other Pokemon in the D tier. So I think she just gets to eke out a C. Like, just. But yeah, Electabuzz actually goes into S tier. I just think it's a really cool Pokemon. Remember how they had to change Jinx's design because it was racist? Um, I think wasn't. Wasn't it just like black in like a what's it called in the old games because like you know it literally was like black or white so it's just made purple when they had like you know more colors to work with or was was Jinx like actually like completely black as well in like I try to remember was Jinx also completely black in like illustrations with color I don't remember. But I, re but I do remember hearing that it was actually just based on like a fashion statement at the time. I was still black. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it. Uh, I guess it was still black. Anyway, Magmar. Oh, that Magmar. I think Magmar's just fine. Magmar's fine. I can go into the B. I like it's slightly kept ba down by the fact that it has a like freaking bald brow. But other than that, it's fine. I guess it also, its mouth also looks kind of weird, like it has like some kind of weird duck mouth. But like, other than that, it's fine. It's definitely above C, but not quite an A, so that means B. Next, Pinsir, Pinsir, Solid A. Solid A. Uh, I don't know what else to say, it's just, Pinsir is a pretty cool Pokemon. Or do I actually... Actually, you know what, Pinsir, you can go all the way into the S tier. I like Pinsir. Pinsir is a pretty cool design. Um, Mega Pinsir though, I don't know, I think they're going, I think they're trying a bit too hard. I can just go down into the A. <laughs> I wanted to decapitate me. What the hell, Rhyme? I just, actually, I do remember, like, 
I am once again going to talk about the first four episodes of Pokemon. I remember that Ash met this samurai guy who had a pincer, where he like imagines what it would be like if he sent his metapod to fight the pincer, and like in his imagination, it actually just fucking murders his pincer. Like, straight up just like cuts it in half, like cold blooded murder. Like, early Pokemon is actually kind of brutal. Anyway, next, Taurus. I mean, I would say it's literally just a cow, but it's a pretty cool cow, not gonna lie. Like, the three tails, it's just, like, aggressive, has uh, this pretty cool, like, tuft of a, like, almost like a mane. I don't know, I think Taurus, it's, uh, it's, it's solid. It's alright. Taurus is alright. So it can go into the A tier. In my opinion. Next, Magikarp. Magikarp S tier, and no questions asked. Gyarados, you also go into the S tier. Both both of them are just so iconic. Like Magikarp for its dopiness, Gyarados because it's just it's fucking Gyarados. But like Mega Gyarados, I don't know. It's, it looks like a fucking shrimp. Like you you can. I, I, I don't know, I guess it's still kind of cool, but like, I don't know, feels like it's trying a bit too hard, which, I don't know, I guess that's kind of like a theme with a lot of Mega Evolutions, it just feels like they're trying a bit too hard. So, I think Mega Gyarados, design-wise, goes down to an A from being S. Then, Lapras. Honestly, I've never really been the biggest fan of Lapras. Like, it's okay. It's just, it's literally just a Loch Ness monster. Like, in my mind, Lapras has always been overrated. It's, it's alright, but nothing more in my mind. The horns. The horns. What do you mean, the horns? So cute. You mean like the horn in the middle or the ears, which are not really horns? I wanna throw Lapras at the wall, I'll hug it, but still throw it at the wall. Well, good luck. Isn't Lapras, like, really heavy? So, yeah, all I'll say to that is good luck. One of the few viabilized types. Yeah, because it's mixed with a good type in, I in, a, in a nice, in, a, in water. It's like Walrein. That's also a viabilized type, because it's a water type as well. <laughs> um... What about, like, other... Ice types, um... Morin isn't vi- wait, it isn't? Really? I thought Warrine was viable. What makes- what makes, like, Lapras viable when Warren isn't? Aren't they just both bulky, like, ice water types? What's the difference? Pawning moves, I guess, I guess. Oh, are you like talking about VGC? Yeah, I don't care about VGC, so. You know. Anyway, Ditto. Ditto, I mean. Design wise, like, Ditto itself, it's just a pearl blob. Generally. Okay, also like in, uh, in singles, okay. Like, I don't know, I don't really follow competitive enough to really know anything about it. Ditto is a blob. The, yeah, it's literally just a blob. The good thing about Ditto is it can become anything else because its own thing is just kind of bad. Anyway, Eevee. Eevee. I'm gonna put Eevee in the A. Ditto's a failed Mewtwo, so you knew that, right? That's just a fan theory, though. It's I don't think it's ever confirmed. I think that's just a theory. Or is it actually confirmed? I don't think it's ever been confirmed. EVS, Vaporeon S, Jolteon S, Flareon A. Uh, I don't know about that. Only two months can learn transform Mew and Ditto. Yeah, and I also know that uh, that Ditto can be found like in the mansion where they created Mewtwo. But at the same time, like it's only implied that they failed Mewtwo's. It's never actually outright stated, especially because in later games you can find them all over the place. But like. Yeah, I can definitely see. I, I've heard that theory in the in the first game since strongly implied. But the problem is in following games, you can kind of just find dittos wherever. 
Yeah, there's no official connection. It's all just fan speculation. Anyway, Vaporeon, um, did you know that in terms of... <laughs> um, but yeah, it goes there. Jolteon there. Rarion there. I think we just put all the EVs in A, honestly. Vaporeon S tier. S tier, really? Why Vaporeon specifically? Oh, to me they're just A tier. Do it all and subscribe. Okay. Um, Porygon. I don't know. Porygon is just... Porygon. What do I think of Porygon? I think, honestly, Porygon on its own is just kind of... Meh. I never really liked Porygon. Porygon is a polygon, that's it, yeah. Like, I never really liked it that much. Because hey guys, did you know? I don't know guy I don't know what 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 did we know? What's up purple? W what are you asking us if we know? Kinda cute though, Porygon? Yeah, I guess you can kinda see it, but at the same time, it doesn't really compare to everything else that's up here in my opinion. Anyway, Armonite. Armonite, praise Lord Helix. Um, Amistad though, I don't know, Amistad can just go, Amistad I think this is kind of middle in the middle of the pack. Like, Amistad is a downgrade from Ammonite in everything except stats. Not cover pasting a thing, finish your list, you're dumb. What? What do you mean? I'm not dumb, I'm smart. I'm wicked smart. Um, but yeah. Kabuto, that's also an S tier. So is Kabutops. Um, Aerodactyl, on the other hand, I think Aerodactyl is just an A tier. Um, same with Mega Aerodactyl. I, honestly, I think it just doesn't change much from normal Aerodactyl. So smart, why not tell me what, um, wait, 59 plus 75 times 5 plus 5 is. It is, um, wait, let me just do a bit of quick math, that's 104, that's 154, 154 times 5, um, that is, <clears throat> what's the half of 1,540, that's 500, 250, that's, Seven hundred and twenty plus five, so seven hundred and twenty-five. Why would you even do this? The math? I don't know. It's because I can. I think that's the answer. Yes. Wait, is it? Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, the rights. I forgot the 50. I forgot the... F oh wait, is there a 50 there? Wait, no, it was... Wait, no, it was... No, it's just... Wait. It was... 104... And then 154... Times 5... Um... No, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's 725. I have a calculator. Well, try it out. Purple, no, that's not how that math goes. Bruh. Yeah, bruh. Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. So, so um... No, actually, right. That's that's right. That's why I forgot the uh, I I um I missed missed one. So it's right. It is seven hundred and seventy-five. Wait, what do you mean order? 
of operation. Purple. Purple. Your calculation of 59 plus 75 is wrong though. It's not on, it's not 144, it's 154. <laughs> don't don't think you can sneak that by me. Bruh. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it, it is uh, it is uh, 775. Yeah. Losing brain cells, understandable. Understandable. Anyway, um, where were we? Um, oh yeah, Aerodactyl, Mega Aerodactyl. Next, Snorlax, Snorlax, that's an A. Articuno, Articuno, that's an A. Zapdos, S, Moltres, A. I just think Zapdos, honestly, is the cooler of the, th of the three birds. Like, especially, like, fucking Shiny Moltres looks like a fucking plucked chicken. But yeah, I think, uh, like, the, like, these two belong in A, Zapdos, and the S. And uh, then, oh, wait, they, those two, they, those three came before Dratini. Alright, Dratini, Dratini is cute, it's an A. Regonair, it's like, B. Dragonite. Honestly, I think Dragonite is just a B. Like, I don't know. Dragonite is just... It's just a... F it's just... Like... It's just a fat dragon. It's not a cool dragon. It's not a cute dragon. It's just a fat dragon. Whereas Dratini is actually cute. And like, Dragonite... Like, and it's okay, but like... It's nothing spectacular. Dragonite is dope. A, cute, A, S. Uh, OAF, nah, not in my opinion. Not in my opinion. But then we have a Mewtwo. Honestly, Mewtwo S. Mewtwo, make a Mewtwo Y. Or oh, I think that, no, that's X, right? That goes into A. Make a Mewtwo Y. S. And the Mew. Why did you put yourself in A tier? Wait, what do you mean I put myself in ATR? What am I? What what am I that you are saying I put into ATR? Oh it's not God damn it. God damn it, rhyme. <laughs> but yeah. I, I just I just like Snorlax. I think it fits in there. But yeah, so this is the uh, this is the completed tier list. Anything we want to change or not? I don't know. Don't think that's anything I want to change here. Yeah? I think it is fine. Everything is horrible. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the very constructive feedback. Thank you for the very constructive feedback. Man, I'm really tired today. I think we might actually just be ending, like, I'm sorry. We were supposed to play some Pokemon Light as well, but, I don't know, I'm just really tired today. So, I probably, I think this is all that we do for today. I'm sorry. But, it's just tired day, you know, sometimes it's just like that. Nine Tails. Yeah, nine tails is there. You know what? You know what? Let's put nine tails down here. Do you like that better, huh? Do you like that better? This is a better placement for nine tails, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> unfold. That's actually better looking. <laughs> Damn, you guys are savage. 
But yeah. Um I think 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 that's um that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for today. Let's check if there's somebody we can go raid. Um, well, oh, oh, I know. I see someone here that I don't think we've raided before playing a game that I just recently started called Fallout New Vegas. Let's go take, let's go pay him a visit. So yeah, we're going to go and raid Red Hot Head VT. So everyone, if you would, uh, if you would join me, that is, that would be a very nice. But yeah, I'm sorry once again for not doing any more today. I was just tired. But um, we'll uh, we'll do something again on Friday. On Friday, we're gonna be grinding the frames with uh, with Dusa. And uh, next week. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll actually continue the last luck. Today I was just tired, unfortunately. But yeah. I'll be seeing you all again. Bye bye.